Okay guys, so my Vegas killed our last Golden Goose. Let's see how we do with Goldie Goose instead. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Hey mess winners and sharks, Ace of Vegas here, hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and check out Goldie Goose. Now you guys actually voted for this one to be the next game that we play in the best slots in my Vegas series, so I decided to go ahead and give it a shot here. So we're gonna go ahead and put about 60 million chips through the machine at 600,000 per spin. I'm not really sure what the big bonuses are here, obviously free spins and hopefully some type of fun pick bonus where we get to you know, hatch our own egg or something along those lines. I, I never actually check these little uh, <laughs> these little question marks down here, which are actually able to give you the full breakdown of the game and all the bonuses. But without further ado, let's get started. 100 spins on the clock on your mark, get set, ready, go. And also wanted to go ahead and give a shout out to you guys for joining uh, myself and also, also my homies, uh, Chris Rocks, as well as the Comp Sky on our latest podcast. So if you guys missed it, no big deal. I didn't do a very good job of advertising that. I apologize. But we did have a podcast this last Friday. I believe that was May 31st. And today is, oh goodness, it is June 3rd. Monday, June 3rd, we have this video out over here recapping a little bit of the podcast. So we talked about Meek Mill and uh, his altercation with the Cosmopolitan Hotel. That's a Caesars Hotel. So for once, it's MGM that's uh, out of the hot water and the Caesars in the hot seat on this channel for once, which is really ironic because I do a lot of MGM-based stuff. But, you know, those are, those are just logistics. So anyway... Uh, we, we talked about the whole controversy there with uh, Meek Mill getting kicked out of the Cosmopolitan before he even made it in there. He was supposed to be visiting his buddy DJ Mustard, who had happened to have a show at, I believe it was the Marquee Nightclub there at the, there at the Cosmo there. And he, was, he, he wasn't let in, and it looked like a lot of the allegations kind of pointed straight to racism and the way that the hotel, the w hotel was kind of standoffish at first, and they backed off very quickly within a week so it kind of made you wonder if somebody made the wrong decision or made the wrong call there and they got fired for it so they decided to go ahead and back up after they saw the backlash online and Cosmo is not exactly the most politically correct hotel which is funny because it's the best hotel in Vegas um, officially voted by you guys as well as the members of the my Vegas group too those guys really like it too but it's considered one of the best hotels and also, it's had the most problems with this sort of thing. I'm not sure if there are any other, any other recorded instances. But I did read a, an article about a young lady by the name of Stephanie who was actually banned. She was a trans woman. Uh, and that was uh, on the pre-op phase of her transition that got banned for using the bathroom of all things. She came out of the ladies' restroom and then security just kind of abducted her, took her picture, kicked her out. Uh, I think the Wednesday of that week, they ended up uh, apologizing and unbanning her, so to speak. But I can't imagine that she came back to the hotel, as nice as a hotel as it is. If I got that sort of reception, I probably wouldn't go back either. Oh, no, this is a painfully bad game here, guys. I'm really sorry about this. So it's a really painfully bad time for our boy Mick Mill, and then this has been a very bland game for us, unfortunately, too. But on the bright side, at least got to talk about the podcast a little bit. We're planning our next one, I believe, for June 9th. That's going to be on a Sunday, and I'm planning that around 10 o'clock Eastern, or maybe 9 o'clock Eastern, one of the two of them. I'm going to put up a notice on the Ace of Vegas fan page there, and it's going to be with Chris Rocks, and I'm not sure if you guys saw that Chris Rocks video that I made, uh, where we checked out her one of her strategies that she was using for My Vegas Blackjack, and just killing it, and I'll put a link to that in the uh, card over here, as well in the description box below, I'll put a link to her channel if you haven't followed her already. As well as my buddy, the comps guy too. He's uh, he's, a, he's actually a viewer of mine too, and he got inspired and decided to go ahead and make his own channel. So I was really flattered when I found out about that and started following him and watching his stuff. And he likes to do some more unique things too. He likes to talk about the credit cards and talk about the South Point Casino, some other off-strip properties in Fremont and all that. So if you haven't checked him out, 
uh, feel free to in the description box below. We'll go ahead and put a link, and I'll go ahead and put a link to the podcast too, so you guys can go ahead and catch up with uh, myself and Chris, and uh, obviously Comps Guy as well too. So you, you guys can enjoy our little back and forth because I had a really great time doing that. We had a little bit of viewer interaction, but it was a pretty quiet podcast mainly because we just we'd been working so hard on trying to put it together in the week before we'd really tried to put it together too. And real life just really got in the way. So now that we've uh, been able to clear the schedules out a little bit more. We'll ha- oh, hey, look at this. We finally got our first bonus within the last 10 here. And it looks like it is a an egg prize here. Let's go ahead and go for the center because I'm a scrub. But, you know, this is how you win. Um, yeah, I think this is how you win tic-tac-toe. So you want to go with the upper left-hand corner here. It looks like every egg is going to be worth about 375000 Oh, we got to keep going. Oh, 1.2 million. How many more of these do we get? Okay, all right. I guess we got to keep going. Let's let's get a tic-tac-toe here. Times two. What? What's going on here? All right, so I guess the egg value, I guess we just keep picking until we get something good. All right, and what's going on here? We start the bonus now with an egg value of 13.95 million, and we get eight free spins. Hopefully... We get to crack some eggs over here. All right, and we oh we might get another bonus spin here, guys. No, we did not get a bonus spin there. Uh, oh, it looks like we did get one egg though. We did get one egg that was 13 million. All right, that's awesome. That's one huge win. <laughs> We're making a little bit of a comeback here. Oh, oh, we got three eggs. We got three eggs. We got 41 million chips worth of eggs. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> 56 million. Okay. So we actually had enough time to talk about the podcast and actually managed to make a few chips here. So let's go ahead and spin down these last five, uh, these last five spins over here. So it looked like we were looking at a pretty bad game here initially, and it turned out to be pretty good. Let's get one last spin going and see how we did. All right, guys. So it looks like we ended with 821,931,698. So I'm going to take a quick break here. We're going to do some maths, and then we'll uh, count up the booty. Okay, guys, after doing some calculations, it looks like Goldie Goose is definitely going to be one of our favorite slots here. So we walked away from the game with a 21,060,000 chip profit here. And that means that we had a 135.10% payback percentage. Okay, guys, so it looks like we still got Screaming Eagles, China Mystery, and Bet Rock and Roll as our remaining slots on the page over here. What do you think? Should we start screaming with the Eagles, uh, investigate the China Mystery, or Bet Rock and Roll some more? So go ahead and let me know in the comment section below what you think. And until next time, friends, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Strong hands and happy spinning.